Well, hello, everybody. It's Wally, the children's librarian here at the Medford Library. How are you doing today? Well, you know, since we have this big, wide open library right now, and I really want you to enjoy my story time, I'm going to take this down, my mask, just a little bit. I hope that you're wearing your masks when you're out and about. I want you to stay safe, just like we like to stay safe here, too. Well, one of the things that I miss about having you come in the library is sharing all of our new books. So since you can't come in and find our new books, I'm going to share some of the new books off the shelf with you today. So let's start off with one called Things to Do. This one is by Elaine Magliario. And we're going to go ahead and find out about other things that you can do besides just being at home waiting to come into the library. Things to do. I love the colored pencils. Things to do if you are dawn. Shoo away night. Wash the eastern sky with light. Wake the, we the sleeping sun. Rise and shine. Rouse resting roosters. Set songbirds singing. Dreams drift far away. Let's start a new day. Things to do if you are birds. Go find your breakfast. It's strewn on the lawn. Better come and get it before it's all gone. Stretch out your wings on the brightening sky. Morning's upon us. Get ready to fly. Things to do if you are a honeybee. Flit among the flowers. Sip nectar for hours. Be yellow and fuzzy. Stay busy. Be buzzy. Things to do if you are a acorn. What would you do if you were an acorn? Wear a bumpy round cap and a starched brown coat. Grow plump, ripen, snap from your stem, and off you go. Fall to the forest far below. Tempt a scavenging squirrel, let him bury you in a bed of earth beneath a blanket of moldering leaves. Dream the winter away, then in spring, sprout, let a little oak out. It's almost spring, are you ready? Things to do if you are a snail, slowly, slowly take your time. Slide along your trail of slime. The wonders of your world are small. Don't hurry by. Enjoy them all. Things to do if you are the sun. Be big and round. Be bold and bright. Wear a crown of golden light. Shower down warm yellow rays. Rule the sky on summer days. Things to do if you are the sky. Stay clear and blue, let the sun smile down. Don't grow grumpy, gray, and frown. Don't scramble up storm clouds. Don't grumble and complain. Don't stab the ground with lightning. Don't rain, don't rain. Things to do if you are an eraser. Be pliable and pink. If I draw before I think, rub out every mistake that I happen to make. That's what your job's all about. Go on, wear yourself out. Things to do if you are scissors, open wide your silver jaws, then snap them shut. Open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. Snip, snip, snip. Action, cut. Things to do if you are rain. Polka dot sidewalks, freckle window panes, whoosh, down gutter spouts, gurgle into drains. Patter around the porch in, in slippers of gray. Tap dance on the roof, then go away. Things to do if you are boots. Splash in puddles, splash on the walk. Make the fallen raindrops talk. Things to do if you are an orb spider. What's the difference between one that does a web and an orb? <laughs> Weave a web of silken strands with spinnerets. You don't need hands. A silver net, a sticky snare, a clever trap. That's light as air. Weave a web, then watch and wait. Upon your woven dinner plate, no need to hump, hunt to catch your prey 
a meal will soon be on its way. Things to do if you are crickets. Quiet fills this summer night. Fireflies dot the dark with light. Birds are nestled in the trees. The world is still. There is no breeze. Tune your instruments and sigh. Bid this balmy day goodbye. Rub wings and sing a lullaby. Things to do if you are the moon. Live in the sky, be bold or be shy. Wax and wane in your starry terrain. Be a circle of light, just a sliver of white. Or hide in the shadows and vanish from sight. Look like a pearl when you're brimful and bright. Hang in the darkness, dazzle the night. There's plenty of things to do. What about you? What are you going to do today? after you sit and listen to some books. How about if you're gonna, how about going out and driving the bus? Do you think it's okay for you to go out and drive the bus? What about a pigeon? Should the pigeon drive the bus? Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while so you can watch things for me until I get back. Thanks, and oh, remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Uh-oh, there goes the bus driver. And uh-oh again, there's the pigeon. I thought he'd never leave. Hmm. Hey, do you think I could drive the bus? Please? I'll be careful. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. Hmm, my cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. Hmm, maybe not. Vroom, 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 vroom. Pigeon at the wheel, beep, beep. No? Hmm, I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Hmm, no? Oh. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. How about if I give you five bucks? No fair. I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? It's just a bus. I have dreams, you know. Okay, fine. Let me drive the bus! Hmm. Stomp, 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 stomp. I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great. Thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Bye. Poor pigeon. Hey. Beep, 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 no. Do you think we're gonna let the pigeon drive the big rig? Probably not today. What'd you think of that? I know that was on our new bookshelf. This has been around for a long time. That was Mo Willems. I love his work. It's all over the library. Put some of his books on hold, why don't you? Now this one is a take on an old book I love. We all know Wheels on the Bus, go round and round, but this one's Wheels on the Tuk Tuk by Kabir Segal. Now a Tuk Tuk is kind of like a taxi and I've been on things like tuk-tuks when I was in the Philippines. Those were like jeepneys. But this is a, like a little three-wheeled vehicle. And it goes around town and picks people up and takes them where they want to go. Wheels on the tuk-tuk. Now I'm going to sing this. And I don't know if you remember me and my singing, but you can always put your fingers in your ears. Here we go. Tuck tuck wheels go round and round, round and round, round and round. Tuck tuck wheels go round and round, all through the town. People on the street jump on and off, on and off, on and off. People on the street jump on and off, all through the town. Rupees on the tuck tuck go, 
ching 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 rupees on the tuk tuk go ching 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 all around the town tuk tuk riders say namaste g namaste g namaste g tuk tuk riders say namaste g all through the town tuk tuk wallace squishing together squishing together squishing together tuk tuk wallace squishing together all through the town the duck duck riders go bubble 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 duck duck riders go bubble 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 all through the town. It's a pretty packed little conveyance there. Tuck tuck rider, I'd rather tuck tuck stops for a moo moo cow, moo moo cow, moo moo cow. Tuck tuck uh, stops for a moo moo cow all through the town. Tuck tuck yogi chants, om 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 om. Tuck tuck yogi chants. Chants om 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 all through the town. Tuck tuck walla sips, sips chai, tuck sips sips chai, sips sips chai. Tuck tuck walla sips sips chai all through the town. Tuck tuck riders eat papa 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 doms, papa papa doms, papa papa doms. Tuck tuck riders eat papa 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 doms all through the town. You say that five times really fast. <laughs> elephant trunks go spray, 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 spray. Elephant trunks go spray, 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 all through the town. And tuck, tuck wipers go swish, 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 swish. Tuck, tuck wiper go swish, 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 all through the town. Diwali fireworks go pop, 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 pop. Diwali fireworks go pop, 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 all through the town. And the tuk tuk wheels go round and round, round and round, round and round. The tuk tuk wheels go round and round, all through the town. That seems kind of exciting. I like to ride around on buses and things like that. It'd be fun to see a tuk tuk around here in Medford. What you think? I think we might have time for one more. What do you think? One more? Do you have time? I found this one today, and I thought it was pretty special. Someone else actually requested it, so maybe you can get in line for it too. This one is called Kate Who Tamed the Wind by Liz Garten Scanlon and Lee White. And I thought of this because, gosh, we've had some really great windy days lately. Does it get windy out by your house? Let's find out what Kate Who Tamed the Wind did when it got windy by her house. Once there was a man living all alone in a creaky house on the, on the tip top of a steep hill. The man lived all alone in the creaky house on the tip top of the steep hill where the soft wind blew. The man lived all alone in the creaky house where the curtain swung and the chime spun as soft wind blew and blew. <sighs> and blew. The wind blew until the shutters banged in the creaky house on the tip top of the steep hill. The wind blew and the shutters banged and the boards bent. The, winds, the wind blew and the shutters banged and the boards bent and the table tipped and the tea spilled. Oh my. The tea spilled and the bread broke on the tippy table in the creaky house at the tip top of the steep hill. And still the wind blew. The wind blew and off the birds flew. The birds flew and the dust did too and the man cried, what to do? What to do? The wind whipped his words from the tip top of the steep hill to the itty bitty town at the bottom where a little girl called Kate heard the cry and felt it too. She wondered what on earth to do. Wind, new trees. She was drawing ideas there. Kate could not stop the wind. She knew that. But she could wheel a load of new trees to the tip top of the dusty hill in her wagon. And there she went up the hill. You think she knocked on the door? 
and said, hi, Mr. Old, Mr. Little Old Man who lives in the creaky house? I don't know. But she gave him his hat. And there Kate dug deep holes and watered muddy mounds till the trees grew. And as the trees grew, the wind blew. And the trees grew and the wind blew and the time flew. The time flew as the trees grew and grew and grew. And Kate did too. The trees grew until the leaves fluttered and the shutters stilled and the boards bounced back. The leaves fluttered, the shutters stilled, and the boards bounced back and the dust died down. The dust died down, the tea steeped, and the birds peeped. The birds peeped and the old man poured sweet tea and said, for you near the quiet house on the tip top of the green hill where a bright breeze blew. I really like that story quite a bit. There's all sorts of things that we can do that kind of goes along with our first story, the things to do. If you find yourself that you face problems, think about them really hard and see if you can find solutions. Just a couple of other books that I was you know, interested in today, but you guys can always place on hold. This one is called Clink by Kelly DiPuccio. And I love the illustrations. They remind, remind me a lot of Mark T. This is a story of a little boy who goes to a robot shop that's filled with fancy robots. And this poor guy, he's just there waiting to have someone find him. What is his specialty? Hmm, burning toast and singing? Well, the little boy finds that that's exactly what he wants. Find out more in Clink. And then one other book that I thought was fantastic. This one is called The Barnabas Project. And this is about a bunch of little creatures who live under a shop, a shop called Perfect Pets. And they live in a laboratory. And there's a bunch of them. So I'm wondering whether or not in this story, these creatures who are stamped fail find their way out. And I think that they do. But what happens to them? Mm, you need to read the story and see how they escape from the, the lab and find their way up into the world. The Barnabas Project by the Fan Brothers. It was so good seeing you again today. I so miss story time with you. I hope that this is a small replacement. And I look forward to seeing you again here on the big screen shortly uh, with another story time. You take care. Bye-bye now. And don't forget to wear your masks.